America's always been known as the land of the free, but in recent years, it's more like the land of the fee. What are some of the worst fees you encounter? There's a $650 dealer fee on the paperwork. Charging for parking at a hotel. Oh, a loyalty fee. One day if you're late on a credit card fee, automatically you're charged $39. Banking fees, travel fees, car dealer fees, they're all annoying and they're all expensive. But, but really, none of these fees amount to much. At least, not when you compare them to the single biggest fee you're probably paying, at least if you're one of the millions of Americans with a 401k plan. The fees you pay are probably in here, the prospectus that describes how your 401k funds invest and what they charge. They range all over the place, from a quarter of 1% a year to 3% or more. Now, these fees aren't like an ATM fee because they're coming out of your earnings. Now, what's 1% or 2%? Well, over your working life, it could be enough to buy a house. Say you put aside $5,000 in a 401k plan every year, do it for 30 years, earn 7.5%. If you'd paid no fees, you'd end up with $555,000. But if you pay 1.5% management fee the whole time, you're only going to earn 6%. So you'll only end up with $420,000. That seemingly small 1.5% fee cost you $135,000. So while an ATM fee or the fee to check a bag may seem annoying, the fees you're paying on your 401k are more than annoying. They could be ruining your retirement. And that's why you should check the fees you're paying to invest those retirement savings. And if you see they're high, say something to your employer. For more information, go to moneytalksnews.com and do a search for retirement fees. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.